The staff at Burlwood Head Start wanted the children who were returning to in-person classes to have something to look forward to after being confined by COVID-19 precautions for so long. The answer was a garden. With little time before the opening day of classes, they planned, prepared the area, collaborated with knowledgeable members of the community, and worked with facilities to coordinate the big transformation. They were not alone in their efforts. They had community volunteers, donors, family members, and the support of CDR in the almost unimaginable task. The process was a testament of the yes commitment that is threaded throughout our agency. The project started with a vision and a wish list. It was presented to Burlwood's assistant manager, Cindy, and was met with, let's do it. It'll be great for the children. As the project made its way up the approval ladder, it was met with the same sentiment. The administrative assistant, Gabriella, and the purchasing agent, Tammy, expedited the process so it would land on Suzanne's desk in time. The facilities department, Bill, Lonnie, Rafa, and Ruben, even though having a full schedule with the opening of centers, committed to helping with the pickup and delivery of the materials from Lowe's. It almost felt like this project took on a life of its own. It was shared on a local community group and was met with donations of plants, painted rocks, gardening equipment, and lots of advice. Even at Lowe's, we had the most wonderful experience. The manager cleared an area for our carts to be stored as the Burlwood staff and the volunteers collected items off their lists. The garden department took one of the lists and worked together to collect the larger items with the forklift. Meanwhile, the rest of the Burlwood staff was preparing for the delivery and the taunting task of unloading the truck. Everyone worked together with Lonnie at the end of the truck passing each item to those of us below. Everyone's attitude was positive and it was infectious. The children's joy was the driving force to get this project completed before the first day of school. Over two days, the barren area that resided next to the classroom underwent a metamorphosis to the tranquil oasis it now is. The children tend to the garden daily. They sow seeds, water the plants, build trellises, sweep the walkways, and make the handwritten labels to identify the foliage. They often look for the rocks with painted letters on them, carrying them in the wheelbarrow. They also look after the gnomes and ladybugs that have made our garden their home. Sometimes they even sneak a few blueberries or strawberries to enjoy as they lounge in the corner nook of the garden. The children love to listen to the birds that are nibbling on our sunflower leaves as they sit and read stories next to the ever-growing plants, some of which now tower over them. The conversations, problem solving, and cooperation that has come from their time in the garden has been immense. The garden has affectionately been named Curiosity Corner after the wonderment and natural curiosity that resides within its picket fences. The biggest thanks to those that volunteered their time and expertise to make this dream a reality. Their knowledge and support were the foundation of this project. This is only the beginning.